Christian in Michigan. Hey, how are you guys? Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. Um, <laughs> and I'm doing pretty good. Um, I was calling in to ask you a question. Um, simply stated, uh, do you think that people can consciously choose what to believe? Um, because when, when I told my mom that I was no longer Christian, she made a comment that went something along the lines of, well, it sounds like you decided not to be a Christian and then went out and convinced yourself. <laughs> and, you know, my thinking is, well. if, if I didn't want to be a Christian, then that means that before that point, I already wasn't a Christian. <laughs> right. So it's not like I could actually decide anything. It's, so, so I'm wondering what your thoughts are on that, as whether you can actively, consciously choose what oh, to believe. I, I think the answer is no. I think you can choose to examine your beliefs and choose to mull them over and see if they make sense. I, I think you can choose to explore the, your beliefs, but I don't think you get to choose what you believe unless you're really working to maybe self-delude yourself. Uh, um, what what your mom is talking about is a real thing. I mean, yep. there's you know there's something called confirmation bias, which is a well known psychological effect where when people start with a with a belief, uh, they they tend to uh, pay att pay extra attention to facts that confirm their belief and uh, and ignore things that don't confirm their beliefs. And so yeah, yeah, and, and so once I, you're once you're in a position. Uh, if you're very stubborn about it, then it becomes very hard to talk you out of something. Um, yeah, and that, that, that's how I see a lot of you know people confirming their own faith is through that. But kind of my point is, if I was a Christian and I actually believed that I was going to go to hell if I wasn't a Christian, then I would do everything in my power to stay a Christian. I, I couldn't decide not to be a Christian while I still believed that not being a Christian would send me to hell. Right. Right. And that's the whole the whole idea behind Pascal's wager, right? I, I don't know if you've heard of that, but that's a, oh, yeah, yeah. an old thing. Yeah, of, that whole thing that whole thing hinges on the possibility of choosing your belief. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Which is one of the flaws of it, I think. And one of I, many. <laughs> I mean, really the most intellectually honest thing to do is to uh, try to try to withhold judgment on things that don't have enough evidence to confirm or deny them uh, and try to uh, make as coherent a model as you can with the facts available that you have but always acknowledge that uh, that it's that's tentative. subject to, to, to yeah. change. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah um, I, I kind of see belief as almost something that happens to you and then you realize that it's happened almost after the fact. Right. I, I would tell her, you know, I didn't decide not to be a Christian. It's just that I became convinced that Christianity was wrong. That's different. Um, or there are, are your yeah, seeds yeah. of doubt blossomed. Doubt's a good thing. Right. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that was my only question. Well, I've, I've got more questions, so I'll call back in later weeks and get you to answer all those. Okay. Very good. So, Thanks for your call. Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye.